So uh, I'm back on uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a little while between videos uh, for me. Um, a few different reasons for that, uh, but I guess basically I'm always just finding a reason not to, uh, to get back into my YouTube. Um, I was finding uh, before I took a little break there that being on location and shooting and then also trying to film my videos at the same time could and was potentially causing me to not shoot the best photos that I could have. Um, so I took a little bit of a break. Uh, I still filmed a few shoots that I haven't uploaded yet and I will upload them. Uh, but really, I thought the best thing to do was to just start taking videos for my, uh, I guess, my daily photos that I take. Um, like most photographers, we do work with people, we do professional work and that sort of thing, but sometimes we like to just go for a walk and take photos. That's something that I do pretty regularly, uh, almost you know every other day I, I, I take a walk and sometimes I take my camera, sometimes I don't. Um, but then some days, like today, is a good example. I, I think what I want to do is I just want to go out and I just want to take a picture. Maybe one, maybe two pictures and that's it and then just be done for the day. It's just you kind of have to like scratch that itch uh, that you have, you know, as a photographer sometimes you just you feel this like need, you need to go out and make a photo um, for whatever reason, I don't know. But um, so yeah, I usually don't film those times, but I thought today, why not go for what I normally do is either drive or a walk. I live quite close to the beach. And just I just look around uh, until I see something. Sometimes I don't see anything that I want to take a photo of, but sometimes I do. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. My video camera, just a second ago when I picked it up, didn't turn on. So I'm gonna film this on my phone. Um, and hopefully it looks okay. I've got a pretty good phone, but I'm using the front camera. So if uh, if it looks bad, I apologize, but this is the first time. Um, but yeah, so what we're gonna do is go for a roll, have a look around. Um, I today have got, I've got my Polaroid 600 SE. Uh, it is a pack film camera. And then over here, I've got a back, a Polaroid back that's already preloaded. I don't know if you can see there. I'm up to the eighth shot. Got a couple shots left in here. This is a black and white Polaroid 667 pack film from 2005. Uh, it usually it has been shooting well, but we'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's not clipped on at the minute, so we'll just clip this on to the back of the camera here. That on camera, but we can try. Let's... All right, we're on. So the back is on. Now what we're gonna do is just, just have a look around and see uh, what's good. I also just wanna quickly mention it is super windy. I've got my AirPods in. Hopefully you can hear me uh, when I'm outside, but you might not be able to, but uh, I'll see what I can do. It's really, really windy in the afternoons here, but yeah, I'll take, we'll take it out. We'll see if you can hear me. sand people sitting on the sand the water hopefully a few people swimming in the water and then your kite surfers above that um, and then hopefully it just cuts off and that's kind of the, the frame um, and you know when you're at the beach you got to be careful people are in their swimsuits big old camera in your hand it can look a bit sus you know if you're getting too close to people um, obviously I'm gonna be at a bit of a distance but I like to just get this done pretty quickly if I'm shooting at the beach because I don't want people thinking I'm, I'm being weird or anything so uh, I'll take my phone out, I'll do my best to film what I can, and uh, we'll come back, we'll pull this photo out and see how it works.
didn't quite film it well, but uh, I took a photo. Um, it wasn't what I wanted, really. Um, I think it's just going to be sand and water, maybe with your kite surfers down the back, but they they had taken off off into the distance, and that's just what happens. But we'll uh, we'll pull it out and we'll just see see what we get. So now with these ones, you want to wait. It says a minute on the box, um, but I usually try to do about two minutes so I can just see on the um, screen there how long it's been. Um, and I might just cut forward, but um, just to go over the settings I used as well, it is really, really bright out there. Um, and it's hot, it's summer, uh, it's windy. I used F45 and 500, um, 500th of a second, which is the fastest shutter speed on the um, Polaroid 600 SE. Um, and my light meter did say around sort of F42, 500th of a shutter speed. So hopefully that renders a good result for us. But, um, you know, <laughs> I didn't really think 3000 ISO at this time of the day, it's not really what you're supposed to use. But, you know, there is, there is no rules. Um, so you can just kind of you know, we might get a cool result. So um, it's been a minute at this point. I should mention that these smell really bad. Um, I usually bring a little container to put them in and today I forgot. Um, so I'm just gonna have to live with that horrible smell. If you know the smell, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, let's try to peel this and uh, see if we've got anything cool on here. Um, I'm gonna try my best to show it. Uh, even before I see it, so let's go. All right, looks like I've got an image. It's very washed out, but it's actually super nice. scan version of it um, but I think that actually looks super cool I don't really like the uh, the line of the top there that horizon line um, but it's not so bad uh, you know over overexposed and that's even with such a, uh, a high uh, f-stop as well um, but yeah look that's uh, that's the first picture here you can see the uh, negative now the negatives really cool you can actually scan those um, you give it a wash uh, under some water, you wash those excess chemicals off and then you actually put it in the scanner, uh, invert it, and it turns into an awesome picture as well. I'll put that on the screen. I'm gonna put these away to dry somewhere. <laughs> So I think I got that picture in this camera right here. Let's pull it out. Now that one there uh, kind of felt more like what I would come out to generally take photos of. Um, I don't usually take photos of the ocean, so that last one there was kind of, you know, I felt like I, I needed to find a picture, whereas um, this one has just happened naturally. I was driving past, I saw this bush instantly could see the picture in my mind and uh, thought I'd just go for it. Um, had to run in my Birkenstocks. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what the picture looks like. All right, so moment of truth. Let's see if we've got a cool picture here. I'm gonna peel it so you can see it. And here we go. Is there anything there? Yes, there we go. So that's exactly what I was trying to get as well. Super cool.
All right, so I'm gonna pack it in. I'm gonna go home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, a little bit different, obviously. Uh, you know, if you do like it, let me know. I like the idea of uh, photographers just documenting what they do on their day to day. You know, obviously we, we film our professional shoots and that sort of thing, but you know, sometimes and quite often I do just go out and just try and find the odd photo, make a picture and put it away. And sometimes I never show anyone. Um, so I thought I'll document it. Um, and put it up on my YouTube, film it on my phone, nothing fancy, but if you like it, let me know. And uh, I have got other more sort of professional videos in the works that I have shot already um, from previous shoots, uh, but I thought I might do a few like these as well and see if they uh, get any traction and, um, you know, different cameras, different ideas. Sometimes I walk around with my Polaroid in the afternoon, sometimes I'll take medium format. Today I took pack film, so it's always a little bit different, but uh, let me know what you think. Um, check out my Instagram, all my photos will be up on there and uh, yeah, cheers for watching, thanks.